Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will be learning about Bohr's atomic model. This model was proposed by a Danish physicist whose name was Niels Bohr. And he got a Nobel Prize in the year 1922 for this model. Previously, we know from Rutherford's atomic model that there is a positively charged center inside an atom um, around which the electrons revolve in a circular orbit. And there was a problem with this Rutherford's model. What was that? The electron happens to revolve around the nucleus in a circular path. And we know that any charged body uh, in a circular motion accelerates and hence radiates energy. And this led to the shortening of the orbit of the electron and hence eventually the electron falls onto the nucleus which means that an atom must collapse or an atom is highly unstable but we know that an atom is quite stable so this was a uh, problem with this model which was addressed by Niels Bohr in his atomic model so let us see what are the postulates of Bohr's atomic model now Bohr said that an electron cannot randomly choose an orbit and take it to revolve around the nucleus. It has to take only a certain special orbits which are allowed for it to take inside an atom. So in these orbits, surprisingly, an electron never radiates energy. And Bohr named these orbits as discrete orbits. Now the electrons inside in this in discrete orbits are grouped into shells which he named as K shell, L shell, M shell and N shell. Also these shells were numbered as N equals to 1 for K shell, N equals to 2 for L shell and its value is 3 and 4 for M and N shells and so on. Now each of these shells represents an energy level. It means that an electron in K shell has a particular amount of energy which is different for, from an electron in L shell. And same applies to the rest of the cells that is M and N shells and so on. So all these shells represent a particular amount of energy. It means a K shell, L shell, M shell and N shell, all of these have their own particular amount of energy. And any electron in those shells also seems to possess that much amount of energy. So in this video, we have learned that electrons revolve around the nucleus only at certain special orbits called discrete orbits. And whenever they revolve around the nucleus in those orbits, they do not radiate energy and those uh, electrons are grouped into shells which represents energy levels. So I hope you had fun learning this lesson. Thank you.